Hey guys, welcome to Invisible Jiu Jitsu. So the guys at Reddit have asked for a defense to some uh, north-south stuff. And one guy asked for, in, in particular, Kimura. So we're gonna combine the two. We're gonna show you what happens when he starts to attack a Kimura from uh, north-south. Some simple ways we're gonna get out of it. Um, now obviously, if I let things go completely, my arm is trapped, he's in a north-south Kimura. I'm in very dire straits. I wanna start escaping much, much uh, sooner than, much before that. But, but let's get into it. He's gonna attack from north-south, he's gonna attack Kimura. What I want is my head free, okay? If I can get my head free from his legs, the Kimura is pretty much gone. All I have to worry about now is him spinning into an armbar or something like that. I have also the same options to spin into the armbar. So, if he's not pinning my arm, I'm gonna use this hand. So we go back. Once I'm here, the only thing that's controlling the Kimura is the control of my elbow. So I'm going to explosively turn into him and I'm going to punch my elbow to the ground. Because I'm so far away from him, there's a lot of pressure through John's wrists here. Okay? He can't hold on to the Kimura. Now, if he's pinning my arm, all of this becomes much more difficult. But there's a couple things we can do to use some momentum to free ourselves. But if he's not pinning, this is what I'm going to do. Free the head. And then we can turn in, we can start to escape, we can start to go into other things. Now obviously, we can take a step back, we can go Kurt Oceander, you fucked up a long time ago. Why was my arm even here in the first place? He's in north-south. I should have had my arms inside the ride. Okay, try and attack a Kimura now. Okay, we can start our north-south escapes. Elbows close, defending my neck, okay? I don't want to be hugging him. A big mistake I see in side control is people hugging, they're helping them crush, they're giving their arms away, okay? Now when he goes for the Kimura, he's gonna pin my bicep. This is not good for me, okay? What I can do is secure my arm in place and I'm going to create a pendulum motion with my legs. Okay? So from here, I'm going to pendulum and I'm going to turn in explosively. So it's the same principle as before, getting my elbow down, turning in explosively. But I'm using the pendulum of my legs to add some force to it. Okay? Okay, so I'm using the pendulum to create a lot of off-balance, right? It's not as easy as it seems. You let yourself get to that point where your bicep is pinned because you came away from your body, you're making life hard for yourself. You should have been in here, you should have been starting north-south escapes, okay? And now a nice little thing to finish, we're just gonna go back to the one we did in the middle where he's not pinning my bicep. Remember, wherever there's a Kimura, there's an armbar. We saw it in GSP versus Matt Hughes. He tried to attack the Kimura, Matt Hughes spun for the armbar. We can do the same thing when we're not uh, being attacked from underneath with the Kimura, we can do it when he's on top attacking the Kimura. So same thing, all I'm gonna do now is coil back in, my shin is gonna go across his belt line, and I have my armbar here. Knees pinched together, if he falls, he falls into a tight armbar. Where there's a Kimura, there's an armbar. What I have to watch for is he also has the same options to switch. He can switch his Kimura into an armbar. <coughs> So I have to make sure that my escape gets me far away and that I get my shin in before he does. Okay, I have to finish my escape before he switches to the next thing. So if we both attack at the same time. So, to summarize. 
When we're in a Kimura, there's a couple things we need to do. We need to free the head from the north-south, and this is true of any north-south escape. If my head is free, and it's going to allow me to turn back in. Turning back in, I'm still stuck in the Kimura as long as my elbow is trapped. I need to get my elbow back down to the ground hard. So if he's controlling the north-south, but he's not controlling my bicep on the other side, I'm going to use my free hand to escape my head. Once my head is escaped, I'm going to turn in hard and I'm going to get my elbow down to the ground. If he pins my bicep, I can't use this hand to push as well, so I'm going to generate some off-balancing with my pendulum motion. Okay? Notice how in that one, I like to hold on to my pants just to give myself a couple seconds when I when I, uh, when I go to escape. Now obviously we can then go into whatever from there, he's off balance, we can come back into our, our arm lock like we saw before. They've got options. So we free the head, we free the elbow, we should be safe from this corner in, in North South. So thank you very much guys, thank you guys at Reddit for suggesting this video. Please give a like and share, it helps the, the channel out a hell of a lot. Subscribe for more content.